We didn't know what, obviously, but we knew something was wrong. And every time I touched him by his back, his back legs went down and I thought, it's not right. Their local vet told them he suspected Dexter had a type of spinal cord compression in his neck known as wobblers. Dexter was one of 16. It was a pile. <laughs> it was a pile. It was just a mound of Doberman puppies. Dixie! Dixie dog! Dexter was originally called Shrek because he had sticky out ears okay, and he okay. made a beeline for Ginny. Yeah, okay. She said, I want that one. They brought him home to meet Skye, their other much loved Doberman. She sort of viewed him as a bit of an interloper and, and wanted a shot of him. But she eventually came round to tolerate him. Both dogs enjoyed an active life together. Come on, in this way. But two months ago, Dexter started having difficulty walking. We've noticed a, a sharp decline in him. Um, he was limping, wasn't he? And he, he, he's back paws again, and you can hear him scraping. And that's, that's, not, that's not what life's supposed to be. It's not the only thing the family have had to deal with. A month ago, Dexter's constant companion, Sky, had to be put to sleep, age 12. Since she's been gone, Dexter won't even bark. He won't come to see us. He won't, he's, I don't know. I don't know if he's lost, he misses her, or if he doesn't know what to do, or he, if he's in pain. He, he, or... All of a sudden, his world's turned upside down. Main thing I want for Dexter is to get him out of pain. He deserves a good life. And if we can give him that opportunity, um, we'll go without our kid, new kitchen and bathroom and everything else. He can, he can have it. <laughs> is the wobbling the same? No, it's getting worse. It's getting worse. We're just going to do a, a little walk so that I can look at his neurological reflexes. Come this way, please. So right. start there. Right. Heel. Yeah, What's go. This? What's this? Come on. Good boy. Keep going. Good boy. Good Keep boy. going. That's great. That's Good great. Boy. Excellent. So what we're going to do next is we're going to do tests. Those tests are called conscious proprioception. His brain should tell his feet where to be. He's just farting. I, he's, oh, I, I was going to warn you, he's a, a proper trumpeter. <laughs> That's terrible, mate. I already love him. <laughs> right, brilliant. <laughs> Go. OK, so you can see that that takes a while to come back. Yeah. That's too slow. All right, that's particularly bad. Unusual to have all four legs affected. Between here and here, there's a nerve running side by side. Yeah. Those nerves have a block of cement squishing on them here, and therefore they're shorting out. So that is why the dog's wobbling. Come on, Dex, in we go. Good boy. Okay. Good boy. Right. <sighs> this is the MRI. The spinal cord is squished down by that disc bulging up. So that's the cement block. Yeah, causing him pain? Yes. The pain is caused by compression of the nerve roots, which are here and here. So those nerve roots come out and go to the front legs through those holes, right? And when I poked my finger in that, that's what caused the pain. You can see now that not only do we have a disc problem, but we have some new bone forming. And that new bone forming is also squishing the nerve root. We can see it's already black. Black is dried out. That this shouldn't be black, that shouldn't be black, that shouldn't be black, that shouldn't be black. The bottom line is that most of the discs in that neck and in this part here, which is the thoracic spine, are diseased. Dexter will have surgery later today, in the hope that it will get him back to his old self once more. Please look after my boy. We've just lost one, I don't want to lose the other one. Thanks, Lou. Thank you. Come on, then. It's good boy. Just over a month ago, Dexter, the seven-year-old Doberman, had life-changing spinal surgery. Right, wait. But his recovery has not been without its challenges for Mum Virginia and Dad Vernon. Gently. When he goes for a walk, we have to constantly hold him close to us. He's not allowed free reign. 
I think he's getting fed up, to be honest, because he's a dog that likes to, to get out and run. Come on. I can't read his mind, but if he was a human, I would say he was depressed. More used to the run of the house, Dexter is now confined to the living room. Dicky, Dex! He's a good boy. Since Dexter's been on restrictive movement, um, I've had to move my office downstairs just to keep an eye on him. It's been a bit of a strain um, work-wise because I've had loads of calls to do and he gets a little bit agitated. <laughs> and with the marital bed out of bounds, Dexter has a new roommate downstairs to keep him company. No love. Sweet dreams. Stay there. Sleeping on the sofa with Dexter it has been a disruption. I have the worst night's sleep. However, I feel he needed some reassurance and company. We are following the rules to the letter of, uh, of what Noel advised. We've got to get it right, haven't we? We've got we? to get it right. You we get, get we it get right. one chance at this because he can't ever have the operation again. Should he come through this, he gets a chance to start again. It's been three months since Dexter the Doberman had disc replacement implants to treat compression of the spinal cord and Vernon and Virginia were concerned they'd never get the old Dexter back. When Dexter was originally diagnosed with wobblers, he was a shell of himself. He, he couldn't walk properly. He was quite very subdued. Since Dexter's come back from Noel, he is a totally different dog. Go on, Dex, get a ball. He runs and runs, his tail's up. He's got so much energy and he's just so happy all the time. This is the Dexter of old we remember as a puppy. We're really surprised and quite pleasantly pleased, pleased aren't we? Maybe the nerves in the spinal cord wasn't as damaged as we thought they might be. And by relieving the pressure on them, hopefully, it's relieved a lot of his movement. Although this has been very trying at, at times, it's disrupted our life immensely, hasn't it? Would I do it again in a heartbeat? The, the outcome of it far exceeded our expectations and we are grateful to Noel for his expertise and we couldn't ask for more. So pleased. Uh, more importantly, he's pleased. He's a proper dog, he's enjoying life and that's what we're supposed to do.